what's up welcome back to another video i'm so happy you clicked on today's video if you are new my name is miranda i hope you subscribe stick around and see all the plant-based meals that i share here on my channel first things first give this video a huge thumbs up it helps me out so much and leave me a comment down below if you have a time saving or money saving hack that you'd like to share now nothing i'm sharing today is like earth shattering nothing crazy but it's a lot of helpful things and maybe you'll find a new hack that you can use in your kitchen or you'll be refreshed and see something that you used to do that you haven't done in a while because that's how I feel about everything that I'm sharing with you today. A lot of times when I'm going through the comments on my videos, I'll see something and I'm reminded, oh my gosh, I haven't done that in a really long time. I need to get back to doing that. And that's kind of what today's video is. And I don't know what it is about fall, but I feel very inspired moving into the holiday season. I always wanna be in my kitchen. I always wanna meal prep. I want to pack my freezer. And it probably has a lot to do with the temperatures and the cozy foods that we eat when the weather cools down. I hope you really enjoy these time-saving and money-saving hacks because there's nothing literally better than saving time and saving money. This first hack is a time-saving hack, and oh my gosh, when I saw my friend Emily at Anywhere Nutrition, make sure you go follow her on Instagram. When she shared this earlier this week, my mind was blown. Literally, I have never thought of this, and I am so happy to share it with you. I hope you guys do the same thing in your kitchen. So the first thing you're going to need is a bunch of onions. It doesn't matter how many. You just need a bunch of onions and you're going to de-skin them basically, chop them and have your life be changed. So I like to save all of my skins for veggie broth, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. But if you are not new to my channel and what I like to share, you know, I've shared my veggie broth probably like 15 times in the last two weeks because I've been making so many soups and stews. So Onions really irritate my eyes, like to the extreme where like I can cut an onion, I can use all the hacks, it doesn't matter. As soon as my eyes know there's an onion around, they just water to death and they don't stop for a long time and sometimes they'll get really swollen and I hate it so much. So when I saw her share this, I was like, oh, now I can get my life back. Stop chopping onions every single meal. <laughs> and like... I'm just so happy. So I cut them into quarters, put them in a food processor, and then, oh, let me come back in just a second. And then, <laughs> also, why do things always break when I'm in my kitchen and filming? Real life, real life. So you're going to take all of the air out of your freezer bag and then smash the onions down. 
And here's where the hack actually comes in to make it different than I feel like anything else I've ever seen. Because yeah, I've froze onions before. And yeah, it's helpful. But this, this is the hack of all hacks. Take a utensil. I'm taking that broken spatula, which I end up fixing here in a little bit. And then divide it into sections. And then freeze this bag so it is like flat side down either on a pan or a pizza box or something in your freezer so it keeps it flat while it freezes. And then when you're ready to take out a section of onions, depending on what you um, section yours off to be, 6, 12, 18, whatever you want, small, medium, large, you just pop a piece off like it's a frozen ice cube. You pop a piece off, you put the whole bag back, and it's so amazing. You can keep reusing the bag over and over and over and over. She always shares... She reuses her freezer bags until they're basically death, and so do I. Um, I didn't have any on hand because I haven't done this hack before. Put the date on it. You can put how many onions are in a bag, so if you want to break it down into servings. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. And I did put the servings on my bags and the date because that way when I do budget-friendly meals, I can say, okay, this is about an onion and a half, so I divide everything. I'm just so excited. Like, I can't get over this. Tag me on Instagram. Or tag her on Instagram if you do this. Again, it's like having little ice cubes of onion. And yes, it does heat up extremely well. You just pop the onions into the pan, a hot pan, either with water, vegetable broth, or oil. And boom, you don't have any watery ice. You don't have to chop onions. You can do this probably with multiple different veggies. I'm kind of excited to try it with different things. But I love that they're portioned out. Like I said, you just freeze them flat. And then the onions are ready to go when you are. Guys, if you can't tell, this changed my life this week. And I was so excited to share this with you. I was so, so, so excited. I am so excited to share with you that Fetch is sponsoring today's video. If you have been a subscriber of mine for basically since I started my channel, I started sharing about Fetch. And when they reached out and said they would like to sponsor a video, I legit cried. I was so happy. I was like, oh my gosh, I've shared about them on my debt-free journey. They were a huge help to us because we were able to scan every receipt. Doesn't matter if it came from the grocery store, the gas station, a restaurant, buying clothes, every single receipt scanned into their app and you earn points for every time you scan. And you can scan receipts for specific brands to redeem even more points. The best part about Fetch is it's completely free. And don't worry about it if you forget to upload a receipt as soon as you leave the store. You can scan receipts up to two weeks old and you'll still redeem points for those. The process is so easy. You do it completely from your phone. Scan your receipts, redeem your points for gift cards, major retailers like Walmart, Visa, Amazon, and so many more. Like I said, when we were going through our debt-free journey, I shared a lot about Fetch. I used my points for restaurant gift cards, and that's how we had a lot of our date nights, and they were completely free because of our point redemption. Check out the link in the description box, use my code Miranda, and get 5,000 points when you scan your first receipt. Talk about money saving, time saving. I mean, basically you're gonna buy the items anyways, so you're gonna have the receipts, and then you can turn them into points, and then you can redeem them and get gift cards. Like, what? Thank you so much, Fetch, for sponsoring today's video. I appreciate you so much. Like I said, I've been sharing about you for years, and it just feels so awesome to really connect with a brand that believes in me and my channel and what I'm sharing with all of you. This next hack is a money-saving hack that I use but have forgotten about until someone left me a comment in a recent Crock-Pot video. So usually most peppers are about a dollar each for us, but I actually ordered from Amazon Fresh this week using an Amazon gift card that I had re redeemed from Fetch. So like, I love them so much. I can't even tell you how happy I was that they contacted me, but you already heard all that. This, this whole video is just me basically being excited. Anyways, I saw on Amazon Fresh that they were two for a dollar. And so I grabbed a whole bunch of them and decided to do exactly what the commenter had said, which I haven't done in over a year, chop them up and put them in my freezer for later. Now, I will be honest, I am not one of those prepper people. If you've been around my channel for any amount of time, I don't stock a lot of items. I don't buy in bulk. I don't buy BOGOs and 
I, I stay my course. I have a budget that I follow every single week and I buy within that budget. And I think that's one thing that made us really successful on our debt-free journey because it's really easy to go off course and buy everything at once. But for me, just working week to week was really helpful in learning how much food I could buy for our set budget. And I do the same thing now. Sometimes I do buy two weeks of groceries at a time, but it's really overwhelming for me to buy a month's worth. And that's just because it's me and my husband. But I had some room in my grocery budget and I bought a whole bunch of peppers. And this is a really, really great way to purchase your produce. If you purchase it in season, and I know we're kind of coming to the end of the season, so we're getting into like the fall produce. But if you can purchase some things and stock up a little bit, or maybe even create a little bit more room in your budget, if you do like to stock up, if you do like to prep things, I highly recommend it because now I just saved 50% on these peppers and I now have them for the next few weeks. Yes, I could take $20 out of next week's grocery budget and buy peppers, but I don't need $20 worth of peppers, if that makes sense. Again, I'm not like a prepper. I don't have a prepper pantry. I don't have a lot of stuff on hand because that's just me. I don't have an additional freezer to fill, et cetera, et cetera. But if you do, this is a great hack. Or you can just buy $3 worth of peppers and save yourself $3 and have them on hand. And typically for these things, I will buy... Another example is bananas. When I see that bananas are on sale in the clearance part of the grocery store because there's so many of them, I will spend five or six dollars on bananas and buy about three times as many bananas, but still fit it into like my allotted grocery budget for that period. And then I'll freeze them. Um, I know people that do it with peaches. We did it with peaches that we got from a friend of ours for free. We froze a whole bunch of them. We have a ton of them in our freezer. It's just really, really easy. You can do the same with spinach. I've shared that before. I got spinach on clearance. I put it in the freezer. Just a really great way to save money. Another money-saving hack that's almost 50% is to make your own marinara sauce ahead of time. So at our local Smith's Co., which is where I usually shop because it's the closest to me and I like the store, I like the people that work there, I find that marinara sauce is usually $1.99, which is like a little over eight cents per ounce. Mine, including seasoning, is like five cents per ounce, which yes, in reality, you still have to make it. It's not as convenient, but personally, I think homemade tastes so much better. And if you think about it through the lapse of a year, we ate so much pasta on our debt-free journey, like beans and rice, beans and rice, beans and rice, pasta, red sauce, pasta, red sauce. I mean, that's just what we did. I mean, we were spending $30 a week on groceries for two people. And I just started making our own marinara sauce and finding sometimes dented cans of tomatoes on sale, finding, um, you know, great prices on them. They've gone up a little bit in the last year or so, but I just really like my own pasta sauce. I like that I can control the flavors. I can make it more spicy. It tastes better to me. And in the realm of a year, are you really saving that much money making your own? Probably not, but it tastes so much better. It's better for you. I highly recommend doing so if you had never have. My recipe will be typed out below. Sometimes I add nutritional yeast. I didn't to this one because it does give it like a tangy kind of cheesy flavor, but balsamic's just as good or red wine vinegar is really good. You can play with the seasonings. We like it a little bit spicy. So I do add cayenne and crushed red chili flakes. And then just a couple tablespoons, like I said, of balsamic. It It is kind of acidic. Obviously it's tomatoes, but it's just so good. And then I let it sit in my crock pot on low for like three to four hours really just kind of depends you can also puree it if you want to and like use an immersion blender and make it really smooth we like it chunky and it's like to die for it is so good My favorite thing to do after making marinara is to divide it in a way that works for us. I always try to do it in a Tupperware because 
it freezes, better for me to take out a portion at a time. So the half containers are like two portions, the big ones like one portion, if that makes sense. And then I do keep a couple jars in the refrigerator and then I just date them so I know to use them up. And my favorite meal, so simple, gluten-free pasta, green beans, tomato sauce. I've been eating this for years. I just swap the pasta out, just boil the pasta really quickly, warm up your sauce, add some green beans. It's so simple and so easy. But like I said, it's just one of my favorite things. And the homemade sauce is everything. It's so delicious. We both love it. And you can use it for pizza sauce too. I warned you this was coming. <laughs> homemade veggie broth. If you aren't making it, you should be. Did you know the average American spends all their money dollars on <laughs> veggie broth? I'm just kidding. That's not an actual fact. But I shared with you, I saved all of my scraps. I know I shared this so many times in the last couple weeks, but I've gotten so many comments and emails of people saying like, I'm saving my scraps. Yes. Potato scraps, onions, zucchini, carrots, whatever you have that the veggies you're using, save the scraps. I like to save them in a bag in the freezer. When you have a full bag, you can either do a crock pot, instant pot, or stove top. It doesn't matter. Cover it with water, let it cook, and then save the broth. And you can save it in your freezer, your refrigerator, just depending on how often you're using it. You can also save it into cubes if you want to make it more dense, like ice cubes. I don't do that because, I mean, I guess I could, but it's kind of the same thing. It's more, I guess, of a space saver if you do it in cubes. I hope if anything else from this video, you just take some encouragement that sometimes going the extra mile and doing a little bit of the prep work no, it doesn't save time, but I'm not really doing anything when it comes to the crock pot. So it's not really taking up my time. It's just kind of sitting there, but I'm saving a lot of money and I'm thinking ahead into what can I do for next week? What can I do for the following week? What can I do to keep saving money constantly, but also use things that are available to me, like the scraps that I'm going to use on my veggies every single week. The next hack, it will save you so much money. I am guilty of buying beans in the can because they are extremely convenient. But if you take dry beans and make them yourself, you can save oogles of money. All you have to do is take your beans, rinse them off really well. You can do this in the crock pot, stove top, or instant pot. I'm sharing with you my pressure cooker recipe. I'll leave it down in the description box below. It'll be a little bit different of a time if you use the instant pot, and I do not soak my beans. You can absolutely soak your beans if you want to. I don't soak mine. For the crock pot, it's eight to 10 hours on high. For the instant pot, it takes me 30 minutes. I'm really happy with that. And it saves so much money. And then as far as how I save these, you can do a ton of different beans. If you want to do a whole bunch of different beans in one day or one week, I put them in little Ziplocs and I portion them out to a serving that works for us. Usually one cup or two cup measurements. And then I have tons of different beans on hand. I haven't done this in a long time and I'm so thankful you all left comments on a most recent crock pot video saying that you guys have been doing this because I needed to do this again. I absolutely needed to make some beans so I can save some money. I hope you really loved today's video. I absolutely loved sharing all of these time-saving, money-saving ideas with you all. If you have a hack, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear it because personally, I'm always looking for new ideas or to be refreshed on ideas. And I know a lot of people in the comments read them to get ideas as well. So I appreciate you all so much. I will see you on Saturday in a brand new video. Bye-bye.